So once again, that was Houston Cougars head coach Kelvin Sampson, as well as Marcus, Marcus Sasser and Jamal Shedd, who you heard on the clip. So, uh, of course, like I said, segueing before we, we played that clip, I want to talk specifically about Marcus Sasser and the high praise that Sampson gave him and, and the argument that he gave him, which is valid. He thinks that Sasser should be the player of the year in the American Athletic Conference this season because he's the best two-way player in the conference. Uh, I'm, hmm. I already had a friend of mine. He, he heard the post game, those comments. He disagreed. He didn't tell me who he thinks the best player is in the conference. But the two way part of it is important because defense is important as well. But, you know, obviously, Marcus could score more if it were needed here on the team, but it's not. So that could be a factor in some voters' eyes who give out the award. But I have a hard time taking somebody who's a better two way player, honestly. As a guard, you know, Kendra Davis has never really been known for defense. Um, Jalen Cook, offense. David DeJesus, you know, Julius, not really, you know, great on both ends. So who could, who do you think is better <clears throat> than, you know, Marcus as a two-way player, as a guard? Give me some names and, you know, college battle maybe. That's close. But, I mean, it, it's not a – not a long list. Yeah, I, I'm going to agree with Coach Sampson. I think Marcus is the player of the year and the best two-way guard in the conference, I think. And he's referencing Kendrick Davis because Kendrick's averaging 21 points a game. So in the in the days of analytics, people looking at stats and automatically going off of that, I think he's just speaking to Marcus is important. And when I was watching that game, I was literally thinking Marcus is the best point guard in the country. I know he plays the off guard spot at times a lot in, for Houston because Jamal is the primary point guard. But in essence, Marcus is a point guard. He's going to be projected as a point guard. And his development in making plays is taking this game to the next level this season, in my opinion. And that's where he's taking the next step. He could score more if he took more shots and play. I don't want to say selfishly, but just focused on taking more shots. I think he could average more points. But He's more efficient. He guards the opponent's best player like he was guarding Jalen Cook. That doesn't go unnoticed. That's something that most guards can't do, and he actually made it tough for him because Jalen Cook is really a talented offensive player and got it going in the second half. And so, I mean, on a night-to-night basis, not just tonight, all year round, he guards the opponent's best player, and he, and he slows them down to his credit most of that. And so I think he had a, a tremendous game. He, he makes – um, big moment shots, whether it's momentum shots that really get Houston going and kind of ignites their defense, I think. And so, man, Marcus is um, definitely, in my opinion, should be the player of the year in the conference. I'm kind of curious how the – who is the coaches vote for? Because we don't vote. Media does not get a vote for, for the conference award. So I wonder if some people will vote for DeAndre Williams, you know, in the front court. <clears throat> I'll say this for sure. The first team all conference is going to be something. Because there are probably going to be some some players on second team who are like, well, I should have been first team. So, so I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. There are a lot of players, a lot of talented players in the conference. Some have bigger roles for their teams than other players. Like Marcus Sasser might be the only conference player, all conference player for the Cougs. But Juwan Roberts, <laughs> you know. Is a hell of a put up a hell of a year, and he should be all conference second team, third team, something. So I'm kind of curious how the vote is going to be for first, second, and third team. Sticking on Marcus Sasser real quickly, kind of focusing in on him, Chris Day on something that that I noticed in this game, and it's not even in particular to this game, but something that's really starting to become a trend with him. But whenever he's out in transition, he he is he. His speed is underrated when it comes to being able to push the pace and being able to create shots for others in transition. And whenever he's crossing over and getting into the lane, at times it looks like he's skating and then he's kind of gotten much more comfortable might not be the right word, but he's gotten really good at pulling that Euro step, which either creates an open layup for himself or like today, he he did a good job of being able to kick out and collapsing all the defense and being able to find teammates around the perimeter. And I think that's an underrated aspect of his game that really, it's clearly been a strength this season that it's been an area that he's improved in. Yeah, that Euro step, I mean, it's it's a go-to move for him in transition. You know, mm-hmm. either to seek out the contact, to avoid it, 
that's something he's added to his bag uh, during the offseason, and he brings it out. His overall game, five boards, five assists tonight, 20-plus points. Six assists, too. He's, he's doing, you know, things that are necessary to win. <laughs> you know, times it makes to drive and attack the basket, he can do that. Hit a clutch three, he can do that. Toss it to Jay Wan, he can do that. Lock down defense, he can do that. <laughs> so he's doing everything necessary to help his team win. Now, whether that results in Commerce Player of the Year, we shall see. I mean, it's not that big a deal to him because he's, he has more team goals to accomplish than just that. But we'll see how it all plays out. And the vote will come out, I think, uh, the first day of the conference tournament, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't mean he gets to vote for the postseason conference tournament. All team. So, you know, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But, yeah, because I'm kind of curious. Like I said, Marcus Sasser, he's playing so much better. Dwan Roberts is playing so much better when, once he avoids those fouls. He's a, a his defense on the perimeter is, is very good. Richie Cheney's defense on the perimeter is very good. So, I mean, <laughs> this team is winning in different ways as good teams do. Yeah, um, Andy, exactly your point to Marcus and his ability to, to control the pace and transition. Definitely, that's one of the things that I was um, – when I was thinking he was the best point guard in the country, it was during that one of those moments where in the past, I would have said he would have took it out and looked to pull up for a three. And it's oftentimes in this game where he penetrated and got inside and finished or created. And, and it was really just sticking, sticking out to me, his the way he's seeing the game, his back to my IQ and kind of reading plays and reading in transition and making the great room the right decision. And so, yeah, I think that was a, a great analysis that, that you um, said and stood out because he definitely is playing better in transition, getting into the basket and finishing with either hand. And that Euro step, I know he went viral a couple of weeks ago, so I, I know <laughs> the opponents are aware of that. I know one of them, um, Forbes or Cross, one of them played it well, one of those moves well tonight. And so, but man, Marcus, he, he's on a, a tear. And, and the way he's developing and playing right now and letting the game come to him, I think it's a scary sight for uh, Houston opponents. 